yeah, mood. I have no idea what I'm on about either. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to another video. So as I am now a third year, I thought I would create a new series that sort of documents my dissertation and the progress of it and the hell that follows with it. And this is kind of the first episode. So this episode is kind of all about the creation of my dissertation topic all the way up to the proposal and everything kind of in between. So for context behind these clips, and it's a side note, it's really frustrating because I filmed all the context sort of clips as I kind of went through it and then I lost them because my uh, memory card wiped. So I'm just gonna fill you in of what, what would have been here. So basically I had a few meetings in June of last academic year with a few people from the law school and kind of spoke to them about things that I was interested in and they kind of suggested I look into certain areas of law and it kind of led to me then finding out about the topic of germline gene editing, looking at China, looking at the UK, looking at the philosophies that underline sort of their approaches to the technology and looking at the ethics of it all. So at first, that's kind of what I was going to do it on, but as you'll see from these clips, I've niched and niched and niched, and basically what I'm doing now is looking at germline gene editing and the ethics behind it, and basically it's just a 10,000 word debate on like, should we use it? If so, what constraints should be used, etc. I basically researched all throughout the summer on this, and so when I went back in early September, I had a written proposal done, and then I had a series of meetings with um, lecturers at the law school, kind of got feedback from them then I had my dissertation supervision and then I submitted the proposal so it was a long journey this is kind of what happened well you know what's great is that university hasn't even started yet and I've literally been in York for two days and this is already like the level of my current physical appearance it's a great start to the year so right now I'm finishing off my proposal it's one of them things that to be honest I didn't think it would take that long and I'm pretty sure it's not meant to take that long. It's one of them things that I'm just like, I'm teaching myself as I go and it just took longer than what I thought and then I kind of fell down a rabbit hole of research. I'm just kind of a bit like, I've, I just spent too long researching basically and just understanding and just going down different avenues of that looks interesting, that looks interesting. And so basically the way that I'm setting it out now is through a book that my supervisor recommended me to sort of use and in the back of it they have like a specimen research proposal and it's basically applicable to any topic um so yeah the book is research proposals a practical guide by martin descombe put it here i'll link in bio basically really really good book and it sets out like for every section of the proposal like how you should write it what you should include da, 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 da. and then obviously it has the like a mocked one in in the back of it so it's really helpful and i also feel like i should point out that this is due tomorrow, but it's actually not due tomorrow. I just have a meeting about it tomorrow. So this is where we're at. So I tweaked my question. This is basically the current, I'm almost done, almost done. It's got the literature review to do. So got the title, beefed that up, changed my keywords a bit, jigged about my aims, did my background, which was actually way more fun than it should have been. I got really into it. Uh, so it's basically just setting out like, what a germline gene editing is, like the ethical issues surrounding it, um, and that it can that the ethical issues can be combated with legislation, law in England, law in China, what's going on over the next year, that's kind of like the context for why this research is needed. Then I've got the literature review, which is shambles of these are just notes for it. Um, so I've got the limitations, I've got my questions, methodology ethic, outcomes, and then bibliography that I haven't done, it's just sort of like there too, ready to be done. Desk lighting this year just really isn't the one. Every light in this room is on and it's still dark. Like... <laughs> just come back from my meeting talking about my dissertation proposal and he went through it and he basically was like I know what you're trying to say but I feel like what you've put isn't really getting to the root of what you want to say so this is how I think you could say what you want to say and then when he said it I was like yes this is what I want so basically I'm gonna rejig the whole thing yeah I wanted to ditch the philosophy because for a while like the philosophy of it it was just one of those things that I just thought not really that interested in it but it 
makes it an interesting argument and there's interesting like depth that you can go with it but at the same time it's so vast that you're like it, it's just a minefield so I kind of wanted to like sack it off but I didn't know how I could sack it off and still sort of like do the dissertation so we could kind of come to the conclusion that what I'm going to do instead is look at the ethical concerns around germline gene editing and sort of what they are and then like the regulation on them and how they're being regulated and how they could be regulated and things like that. I think it's way more interesting and way more like what I want to write as well and what I'm actually interested in. So now what I need to do is rewrite this whole thing with the, sort of the new direction that I want to go in. So it's probably going to take me like an hour to do that. I'm going to give this in to like the guy who's the specialist on this sort of area at the law school and see what he thinks about it and then probably tweak it again and then hopefully that will bring us into like October and then I will be able to like be in a good place when this actually needs to be submitted for real. I think this is about like 15% of a 40 credit module. So it's quite a lot in a way, um, considering it's only like 1,500 words ish. It's quite a lot, it's worth quite a lot. So I just had my meeting with the lecturer who kind of got me onto this topic in the first place. And I wanted to give him my proposal to kind of just get his take on where I'm at and whether it can be like developed anymore and his thoughts. He basically told me just to ditch all the China stuff, ditch like all the philosophy stuff and basically just do it on like one big debate about the ethics of germline gene editing. And to be honest, as soon as he said it, I was like, I didn't think I'd be able to do this because I thought it might be a bit too niche, but now he's explained it in that way. Like, to be honest, I can really see how I can write it. And it just took so much weight off because basically all the little bits to the dissertation that I thought, oh, I might lose interest in that, or that's not necessarily like lighting up my fire. Um, he, he's sacked off. So basically everything that's left, I'm like really passionate about. So I'm really excited about it. So what I want to do now going forward is tweak my dissertation proposal again um, to what he said and then when I have my dissertation supervision I can give them my proposal and basically be like uh -huh, help and I'll be in a better place when I actually get a formal meeting so that's what I'm going to do today hopefully it should only take about half an hour to tweak it so this is it the finished thing the way that the law school like it is that you have like justifications for the research then you have your research question and a breakdown of the chapters and what you're going to put in each one methodology then you have a little bit on ethics if you're going to engage with an ethics and then you have an annotated bibliography which is just like you use you write down the sources that you're thinking you're going to use what you're going to use them for why they're helpful and you can have up to 10 of those and then you have like a schedule Okay, so update. I have been allocated my dissertation supervisor, which is Zoe. Um, I had her for a PBL tutor in my first year, so I'm really, really happy that I have her because I feel like I, you know, I get on with her and I feel like I can trust her through the process to like advise me. Um, so couldn't I couldn't have been happier really with who I was going to get, and I was quite worried about allocation because the people that are kind of like the ones that you'd expect to supervise this area all on research leave. So I was kind of picking my brains about who was left, who would be appropriate and who I would want basically um, to supervise me. So really happy with her. So I had my first meeting and I literally, the meeting was to discuss the question. Um, and my question is, to what extent should the ethical challenges posed by germline genome editing be considered in its use and development? So the point of the session was to formulate that question and obviously I already have it and I basically told it to her and she went yeah that's fine so the rest of the session I basically banged out my proposal and was like help me um so she kind of read through it she's like yeah there's nothing really to like do with it it's pretty much on the right lines which stressed me out more than it should have I feel like when I get told there's not really much you can do I'm like but there must be I'd much rather them say here's a hundred things that are wrong with it so the next supervision I have now is in mid-January, I think. It was meant to be in a couple of weeks' time, but because of the strikes, they're always striking, I swear, um, they've kind of pushed it all back, which is annoying because I really wanted to have a bit of guidance before going into Christmas so I could use that time wisely, but it is what it is. So basically now, the proposal is due in two weeks, so it's just literally a case of maybe beefing up with a bit of research, going over it with a fine-tooth comb, and submitting so I'm in a good place really which is like rare because normally I'm doing stuff the night before as you've seen from many vlogs throughout my time at university so this is a novelty it really is so I finally finally I can't emphasize that enough I've been working on this for months um finished my dissertation proposal all that I really did to it was add in a few sources and obviously for the annotated bibliography you can have up to 10 sources and I had seven so I was like 
bugger it, we'll do 10. And so I tweaked the schedule because of the strikes, it kind of moved everything around. And yeah, and just genuinely added a few more footnotes here and there, just like chucking in sources as and when, just to make it look a little bit stronger, but basically it's the same thing as what I had before. So I'm literally just about to submit this now. Oh, oh end of an era, it feels so good. And I'm done. Oh, I feel so good. I feel cleansed. You know, I'm so glad to have that done. However, it has literally just hit me that like, this is like the first hurdle for the dissertation. I've actually got to write the damn thing now. <laughs> so I kind of best start going back to research that. Like ideally I want to have my first chapter done by the end of Christmas and then one a month after that, which <laughs> ambitious, um, but hopefully somewhat doable. So I don't want to get so much research done over Christmas. Yeah, now the proposal is seeming like child's play in comparison, but um, I'm just glad to have it done, honestly. So I guess that brings the natural end to this video. This is the part one of my dissertation saga. Um, next episode will basically be about chapter one and how I'm going about that, what it is, how I'm researching it. So stay tuned basically for more. Um, I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.